When I ask the question, should we blame individuals? Of course, I don't, I don't understand that as the individual, it's horrible and you've experienced mm. a lot. What's cracked it for you? Because you've now, in the last year, lost five stone. Yeah. What an extraordinary achievement. Yeah. What was the turning point for you having struggled all your life? It was, honestly, it was camp because it was an environment where I could really understand my relationship. You went to a special camp? A special camp, the one that Paul Gately runs, mm. and More Life. And I was able to really understand my relationship with food and exercise and dieting, just all the basic things you need to live a, a healthier life. So that was kind of the, the starting point, I think, where I was able to continue But why it. didn't you have that before? Sorry, to, it looks like I'm being mean it's to you. <laughs> but why didn't you? Because I think this is the crux of it. Why didn't you have that before? Why didn't? Why couldn't you give her that when she was little? I think it's the question a lot of people ask him. We all know as parents, it's impossible to get everything right or even 50% of things right. But why couldn't you give her that when she was I, little? I did try, but her appetite was just always large and she just would want to eat her portions and her sister's portions. She wouldn't necessarily want to exercise. You see, the devil's to... advocate at this point would be that's when that little word no comes in. We're talking about primary school children. Right. Do you know what I mean? That's yes, what they would say. And I struggle with it myself, with my children and with my own appetites. Right. But that's what people would say. If you'd said no when mm. she was four, you know, or have an apple instead, or whatever the answer might be, mm. she wouldn't have had to go on this journey. But if I may, when you're like 10, 11, you don't understand why you're this size and why all your friends are skinny. Mm -hmm. So you're just thinking, oh, what's wrong with me? So you're not really thinking about the food. No. You're about yourself more, which is why, what Paul like, said, depression, mental health issues but, come into and play. And that's the interesting awful. thing, because Professor Gately was there actually saying the primary factor, the one thing he thinks needs to be sorted out is the mental health side of this. Mm. So when that was addressed for you, mm. was that, in a sense, the magic key that sort of unlocked the answer to you being able to start that journey of weight loss? 100%, because I'm now able to look at myself positively and how I tackle food and how I tackle weight loss positively whereas before it was always negative oh you need to do it because you don't look right you need to do it because you don't look this da, 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 da. but now it's my own self so I can be healthier and there's mm. a difference there's a massive difference in how you address it what would you say to parents because you've been through it mm. and it's so brilliant that you're on a great course uh, now what would you say to parents that are where you are back when she was like four, five, six, seven, and, and heading in that direction. Obviously, take on board what's available locally. Yeah. It's, it's good for the short term because the course is normally just six to ten weeks, what's available um, locally. If they have an opportunity to pursue the more life camp, then do, because it really was a great stepping stone for us. To... And it's not easy being a parent. No. You don't have all the answers, no, do you? you? Don't. And, and it is good to ask for help and, yeah. and get it along the way. Indeed. Um, and I guess not being afraid to ask for help, because no. there's a lot of guilt involved, Absolutely. isn't there? And you just know that your child is, is not deemed to be overweight. You know, she, ha she can believe that she can be slim, because I don't think me actually believe that she can be slim, right. that she could be like everybody else. She would just comfort eat and think, no, no, I can't do it. But I knew she could. It's just became, just, it was just a case of bringing her to somebody that could help me to believe, her, yeah, yeah, to believe in herself that she could do it. Uh, recommendations here. I mean, you know, Public Health England's working with the food industry to cut 20% of sugar from everyday products by 2020 mm. and 20% of calories by 2024. I mean, when you're looking at, you know, your food choices and things like that, do you think it would make much of a difference for there to be, you know, a bit less sugar, a bit less fat in foods? Or, or do you think you've kind of got to look more of it as a whole, in a sense, to work out what you're eating and how much of it? Well, for me, I focus mainly on calories and my calorie intake, mm. but sugar is an, also another thing. Like, for example, Coke, full sugar, I go for zero Coke because it's less sugar, no calories, so I go for that option. And so, look out for the hidden sugars. Yeah, but then also remember, with, sh with no sugar is sweetness, and that's additives, which is not good for you as well in the long term. It's kind of about having an even balance of, you know, the good and the bad. You should be the one in charge, shouldn't you? <laughs> and helping everybody else. You know it all now. But actually, it's about having that education and that yeah. knowledge to run alongside yeah. it so you're more aware of what you're putting yeah. into your body and the consequences mm. it's having. Well, listen, I mean, huge congratulations Thank to you, you. Mm. because to have lost five stone since you started that Amazing. camp a year ago is just incredible. And I know that that journey is continuing for you. So Definitely. we wish you all the best. Thanks very much for coming and being Thank so you. open and honest with us this morning. Thanks to you, Rosin, And Thank thanks you. also to Professor Gately joining us there as well this morning to discuss this.